How we doing today, YouTube? Deeski from Deeski Grills back with another cooking video. And am I excited today? Today, folks, we are making smoked usabuka on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. Folks, a few ingredients, but we are gonna hook this up 100% on our charcoal grill. Let me show the ingredients we're gonna use to make this awesome usabuka. First, we are starting off with five pounds of pork shanks, okay? So this is a key ingredient when you're making usabuka. We have a host of veggies that's been cut up, but we have red wine, we have beef broth, we have tomato paste, and then here, folks, all of our veggies to make this awesome usabuka. We have onion, we have celery, we have tomatoes, we have carrots, and I chopped up one whole bulb of a garlic, okay? So lots of garlic, and we're gonna add a twist to it and add some mushrooms as well. Now at the very end, folks, we're gonna go ahead and put some uh, thick spaghetti on the side because when this is done, we're gonna first smoke these things for about two and a half hours. After that, we're gonna get our uh, veggies in there with it. We're gonna braise all those veggies, let that uh, pork soak down off in there and start getting super tender. Then we'll just be able to just soup this thing out, put it on a bed of spaghetti type noodles, and folks, it's gonna be an absolute treat. So you know what we'll do. I'll take you to the cutting board. I'll show you step by step how we're gonna prep these awesome pork shakes. You see we have the veggies cut already. And before you know it, we'll check out the grill setup. Then we'll be back checking out the final product of our smoked pork, usabuka, on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. I wanna thank you as always for joining me and let's get cooking. All right, so what we have going on here with our pork shanks is we have four pork shanks uh, there are two in a package. They're about two and a half pounds per package. So that's how we came up with five pounds of pork shanks. All right. These are the seasonings we'll use for today. So as you can see, we have garlic powder. It's incredible. Complete seasoning. We have thyme. And then we also have a blended herb mix as well that we're going to put on these pork shanks. So let's do that now. First things first, we'll get it opened up. Now, I purchased these pork shanks from Snake River Farms, and uh, this is Kurabuda pork, right? So this, again, is some of the best pork in the world that you can get when it comes down to tenderness and flavor. All right, so I wanna get this opened up. We'll get them rinsed and on the cutting board. These are wonderful, my goodness. Okay. So you can see we have some very substantial, nice marbling on this pork. It's gonna cook up really good. Let's open up the next one. Now, when you're talking about usabuka, you're talking about pork shank or beef shank, all right? And that's what these cuts are. So they stand right on up. You can see them looking all nice and pretty. And what we wanna do now is, is hit them with olive oil first. And I'm running out of stuff here. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so we'll hit them with olive oil first. Let that drizzle down the sides of them. All right, and I'll just get them a quick little uh, pat down. There we go. All right, folks, let me wash my hands. We'll use one hand for our uh, seasoning and the other hand to pat it into the meat. So let's work on that right now. Okay, so we're starting off first with our It's Incredible. Nice dose of that. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of turn these things as we go to make sure they get seasoned all the way through. We'll do our edges. And we'll do each one the same way. Just kind of turn and shake. This is gonna be an awesome meal. I'm really excited about it. When these shanks break down, first off, the flavor of this pork is already unreal, but when you start mixing up all these seasonings and you add this red wine and you add beef broth, I'm telling you, what you're gonna make is one awesome braising liquid um, that's gonna go on top of those noodles at the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back at it. Here is our garlic powder. And we'll just turn this around. Very nice amount of garlic powder. All right, then we come back with our thyme, okay? Okay. 
okay? Then we come back with our herbs, our mixed or blended herbs. Very good. And last but not least, we hit it with our complete seasoning. Okay, so this is one seasoned up pork shank. We'll do the exact same thing to the other four and then we'll go outside and I'll meet you when it's time to do the grill setup. So you can see what I mean. We just have this thing full of all these awesome herbs and spices. We'll do the same thing again to the other three. Then we'll go out there and check out the grill setup. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we're outside at the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. It is a beautiful day to make this usabuka. What we're gonna do is use a wax starter cube right now. I'll show you the grill setup, but let me get this going uh, just for the essence of time to make sure we get the grill uh, up to temperature. Now we're shooting for around 250 degrees. We're gonna do a low smoke. The wood you see that I have here is oak, okay? So we are doing post oak today for this cook. Okay, so the plan is folks, once this ash is over, is to go ahead and put on our diffuser plate, right? Now, the grill burns from left to right. So as it heads over, it'll hit these pieces of post oak, start infusing those pork shanks with that awesome wood flavor, right? Two and a half to three hours later, we'll pull the pork shanks, we'll crank the grill up to around 300 degrees, then we'll bring out our Dutch oven with all of our veggies that we saw uh, on the cutting board, get those back in here and let it start braising in that pork. So that's the idea behind this. So really excited about it. Can't wait to show you the next step, but right now, all we're doing is waiting to ash over. I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, folks, we're back. The Weber Summit Charcoal Grill is now at around 230 degrees. We have our beautiful pork shanks ready to go on. So we are at my favorite part of the video, and that's let's get cooking. So let's go ahead and get this burped real quick. And we're going right on, folks, right in the center. Remember, these things are gonna be protected by the diffuser plate. All right, so we have our four pork shanks sitting right here on the grill. We'll get it shut down. We'll get back together in about two, two and a half hours. At that point, it'll be time to start making our braising sauce. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back. It has been two hours later. I wanna show you how these beautiful pork shanks are coming along. This will be the first time looking at them together. We do have a temperature now of around 270 degrees. It's just holding true. Nice blue smoke billowing out. I know that oak has done its job. So let's see how these babies are looking. Let's burp. Oh my goodness. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. We're starting to get pulled back on our bones right now. Now what I wanted to do is go for at least two to two and a half hours. So I'm gonna go about 30 more minutes and then we'll be on to the next part of the video, okay? That's gonna be getting started with our awesome stew or sauce that we're gonna make for this osabuka. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, folks, so I showed you the ingredients and how we're gonna get started on the Dutch oven part of our cook. We're gonna go ahead now and get our shanks off and then add our Dutch oven, all right? So let's burp first. See how these beautiful pork shanks are coming along. Wonderful, wonderful. We'll let these things hang outside. We have marvelous pullback here. You can see these. All right, and we'll just let them sit here and rest while we get our, um, our sauce and get all that stuff working. All right, they look great. Okay, so let's go right on with our Dutch oven. Okay, and it'll take a minute for it to heat up. That is understandable. We'll get these closed up. Now my plan now is to open the grill up wide open. So we're gonna open up the rapid fire assist, get some heat going and get these babies sauteing. So let's get started on that right now. So I'm opening up the bottom damper wide open. I'm also coming back and I'm opening up the rapid fire assist. I wanna get up to temperatures of excess of 350 degrees to start the sauteing process. I'll bring you up and close when it's time to start sauteing these veggies. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we're back. I wanna show you how we have extreme heats coming out of the Weber Summit charcoal grill. I opened up the rapid fire assist and we are up to 480 degrees. So our veggies are sauteing inside right now. I'm gonna close this. We're gonna burp, very hot in there.
All right, and then let me bring you in close and show you what we got going on here. All right, so you can see it. our veggies are sauteing. This is what it's all about. We want them to get a little translucent. Versatility is what I want to show you on this Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. Just the things that you can do with this grill are, is really unreal, all right? Okay, so they're translucent. We're coming on back now with our tomato paste. Okay, and I just wanna come with, I don't know how much to be honest with you. I'm gonna add half a jar real quick because what I really wanna do is just coat these things with it. You see fire starting to come up on the backside. You may not be able to see that, but the grill is definitely getting angry. And that's what I want right now. I needed to get mad because we are doing some bad cooking today here on Deesky Grills. An awesome Osabuka. All right, so we want to get that mixed in. And we may add a little bit more. You know, this might be good enough. I'll do some more just because, right? So what you really want to do is coat this with the tomato paste. All right, let's do just a little bit more. It's like I hate wasting stuff. Can't use the whole can, I think that'll be too much. All right, so we'll get that stirred up as well. Oh, this is gonna be amazing, just amazing. All right, I'm gonna close it up because what I want to do now is I want this tomato sauce to set and stick really, really good to these veggies. So we'll get back in a minute and we'll do the next step. Okay, folks, hopefully you can see we're up to 500 degrees. We're gonna burp again. Excuse the smokiness. All right. All right, let me bring you in a little bit closer and show you what we have going on here. We are good and sauteed here. All right, we'll do a quick stir. Yeah, this is what we want. This is wonderful, okay? Coming back with mushrooms now. And our tomatoes. So we have maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes to just play around with our sauce. We want it to kind of uh, boil down a little bit. So that's the whole idea behind it. We, so we have to let that do its thing, take its course. And then uh, once it simmers down, then we'll come on back and add our wine and beef broth to this mixture, okay? So I'll work this a little bit while we're together. Then I'm gonna close it up. Let these tomatoes start doing their thing. Now the mushrooms I added to this, this wasn't a, Part of the recipe but i thought mushrooms would be absolutely wonderful here so that's something i did on my own here this is why cooking is so fun right you can add your own twist to recipes and do all kind of cool things all right so we'll get this shut down get back together in about 10 minutes and see how it's looking okay see you guys in a second okay folks we're up to around 480 degrees what we want to do is burp and go ahead and add our red wine. We'll do our beef broth last. Let's do the red wine now. We're gonna burp. It's only been about 10 minutes since we last got together. Now the whole idea here is to go ahead and continue to bring the, um, the veggies down, right? Because we still have to get these pork shanks in there. But let's go ahead and keep on with the infusion process. This is about a cup, okay? So we're gonna go with a cup of red wine. Man, you're talking about adding flavors. This is what we're doing now. We're acting up, folks. About a cup of red wine. We're gonna do a little stir again. What I need is our tomatoes to continue breaking down and they're doing that. And if you can see what we have going on here, folks, we have an awesome paste, right? We have an awesome stew that we're building. Look how delicious this looks. I think that cup of red wine is enough. Don't want to taste it right now, but you see the tomatoes are breaking down. You see how we're making an authentic Italian style sauce. And that's what we're going after here. 
All right, I'll close it up again, let it continue on, because what we want now is for the mushrooms to keep breaking down. We want to have enough room to get our four pork shanks in, close the lid, and let the magic happen. So we'll keep working on that. We'll get back together in about 15, maybe 20 more minutes. This would have boiled down even more, and then we'll go ahead and add our beef broth next. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, folks, so we're back. And as much as I talk about the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill, you know, I think I'm uh, right now commissioning for some endorsements, right? But here's what I wanna talk about. 470 degrees, think about it. We were going low and slow. We opened up the rapid fire assist. And after that, folks, we got this baby up to 450 to 500 degrees. It's holding there now, okay? That's what we need for this type cook. So we're gonna go ahead now, get it opened up. We're gonna burp. It's been 10 minutes later. And what we want to do is just see how our sauce is coming along. So let's do that. Look at that, folks. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so the red wine has been really blended well with this sauce. Now we're coming back with our beef broth. So let's do that now. Gosh, this looks amazing. And what I wanted to do is boil down like it did, okay? So it's coming along well. We're coming now with our beef broth. So let's get that opened up do that don't know how much i'm using right now okay but uh, i will give you the size uh, this is 48 ounces we're going to probably use every bit of 12 ounces right now and then continue to let it simmer okay it's about 12 ounces let's get that mixed in really quick all right so same thing 10 more minutes and after that, we ought to be able to introduce our pork shanks back to this awesome sauce that we put together, okay? This looks amazing. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the It's Incredible. This is set up for success. Now, the good thing about the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill, as opposed to your traditional Kamados, is yes, we are cooking at around 470 degrees, but with the ceramic in those Kamado grills, it is so hard to bring that temperature back down to a low and slow. It takes hours almost, right? But in the case here with the Weber Summit, we'll be able to choke this thing down. In about 15, 20 minutes, we'll be cooking low and slow again, doing what we need to do to finish this cook up. So we'll get back together in 10 minutes when it's time to introduce the pork shanks back to the Dutch oven. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we're back. You can see the Weber Summit is still holding right at 460. Just an amazing grill. We're gonna burp. All right, it's been 10 minutes again later. We'll get it opened up and now it should be time to introduce our pork shanks back to the Dutch oven. Look at that. This is the boil, very nice rolling boil. Let's go ahead now and get our pork shanks. So everything now has actually sweated, it's actually came down. We have that tr translucentness. You know this sauce has to be amazing. Look at this, okay? With these mushrooms, I'm telling you, oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, pieces of garlic. We have tomato. We have celery that you can't even see anymore. All this stuff is mixed into this sauce. All right, now let's see if we're lucky enough to be able to get these four pork shanks back in. And I am concerned about that. We need to get them in there though, I'll tell you that. Oh, this is gonna be hard. We might be able to do it though. There's one. Two. They may fit, folks. They may fit. Oh, man. I don't know. It's getting a little nervous here. Three. Oh, we got it covered. And our fourth one. Okay. This thing is kind of rimming out, though. All right. So, anyway, they're in. They're submerged. Let's go ahead and put the lid back on. You know, we don't want to forget our juices. We don't let none of this stuff go by. Look at this as it's been resting flavor let's get all that added okay picture perfect is what it is next step is to put our lid on and now it's imperative that we shut down and we choke this down to around 225 degrees so it can simmer okay so here's how we're going to do that we're going to get it shut down we're going to shut the exhaust down to a quarter open all right then I'm gonna bring you down here to the bottom of our intake and let you see what we're gonna do there see we're wide open right now we're gonna get rid of some of the ash and 
and we're gonna choke this baby all the way down to the smoke setting, okay? We'll get back together in 10 more minutes uh, and let you see where we're at. Now, right now you see it's gonna keep climbing because the Weber does recover fast. So it's gonna go right back up to that 400 degree temperature, but we have choked it down. We have shut down the damper and the exhaust and then it'll start gradually bringing itself back down. So like I said, as opposed to uh, the Kamado style grills, this is not possible, okay? But with the Weber Summit, it is, all right? Here's this baby is in all its glory. We're gonna go ahead and get the cutting board brought in, get some things cleaned up, let this thing go for about two and a half more hours and start checking for tenderness. I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Okay, folks, we're back. We're about 45 minutes later into the cook. Let's see how we're doing. You see now we're at 220 degrees, so we are slow smoking now. We're just simmering this awesome Osabuka. Let's see how it's coming along. Now the idea is to let this go for at least another hour and a half. I'm just checking in with you now because we will lose light soon and we're gonna finish this up at the cutting board. But I tell you what, everything is coming along well. You can see we have that awesome simmer. I'm gonna get these things turned a little bit. Look at that. Man, this is gonna be ridiculous. This is gonna be just ridiculous. Look at that. Nice slow simmer is what we want. We don't want this thing bubbling too hard. We wanna low and slow this thing until everything is tender and fall off the bone, okay? So again, we will lose light in the next hour or so. So I just wanna check in with you, let you see where we're at. You can see this is starting to break down really good, okay? Bottom line, we'll meet at the cutting board when it's time to um, check out the final product. Try to mix this up a little bit, see how things are doing at the bottom. Look at that. Everything's coming along well. So like I told you, um, I'm not sure exactly because I started watching football, so I don't know exactly when this thing just kind of choked down to the 200 degree uh, area, but that's what you're able to get with the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. You don't have to worry about it. Choke it down. It'll come back down into those low and slow type temps, and you'll be able to continue on cooking, okay? So I'll just keep pushing this down. We want everything good and submerged. And we'll get together at the cutting board, check out the final product. Can't wait to see you guys at the cutting board. See you. Okay, YouTube, we are back. Checking out the final product of our smoked pork, Osabuka, made on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. Folks, I'm so excited to talk about what we did. We're gonna unveil this goodness in just a second, but let's think about it. We started off with four beautiful Kurabuda pork shanks. All we did was season those babies up. We used a little bit of the It's Incredible, lots of different herbs. We let them sit on the cutting board, then we went out and got that Weber Summit Charcoal Grill fired up. After we fired up the grill, folks, we set those babies in there, let them go for about two and a half to three hours to just take in that post oak smoke, brought them to the side. Then we started working on our sauce. If you remember, our sauce was just a host of all kinds of good veggies. We used celery, we used carrots, we used garlic. Folks, we used tomato, tomato paste, we used red wine, we used beef broth, all kinds of things to bring this awesome, awesome usabuka sauce together. Then. Once everything came together, we added our four pork shanks that had already been smoked back to this mixture. Now we're at the cutting board. I made some thick spaghetti on the side and we're gonna put this together. So let's check it out. I'll bring you in close, but what we're gonna do first is mix this up. Here's our spaghetti. Let's get a handful of that. I'm telling you, it's exciting. Again, I will bring you in close, but let me show you this, okay? Let me show you the richness Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, here we go. I want you to see goodness and I will bring you right on in in just a second. Look at this beautiful pork shank, okay? This is what it's all about. All right, let me bring you in close. I can't take it no more. I wanna show you the savoriness of this sauce. Mm. Check this stuff out. Look at this, folks. Look at this goodness. This is what it's all about. We have beautiful, beautiful pork shanks that are falling off the bone, falling off the bone goodness. See that? Okay. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. This is what you call done right, all right? Now, we're gonna come back over, move this to the side. Let's bring this back into the frame and just show you what we got working here. We have a savory, savory Osabuka sauce on this awesome thick spaghetti. Nothing less to do now, but give it a taste. Let's see what we got. 
Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Look at all this beautiful, beautiful pork. Look at this, okay? Done right. Oh, here we go. Mm, mm, mm. Let me back this up. Let me back it up. Mm, mm, mm. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna get one more bite of this goodness while we're together. Let me move this to the side. This is a treat. This is just a straight treat. This pork is so good. Mm. Now the whole idea behind the sauce is to cook it to where it becomes thick, it gets savory, but ultimately what this is, this is like Italian soul food, okay? This is what they do and what they enjoy in Italy. So we might as well enjoy it too. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what Deesky Grills is up to. And as always, at Deesky Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Give this recipe a shot. You can't go wrong with this awesome Osabuka pork made on Deesky Grills. I'll catch you on the next one. Mmm. be a gentle law. Delicious. Catch you on the next one.